baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking. Hey guys, it's Sharika. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So today's sponsor is Arabella Hair. They sent me over this gorgeous curly unit. So if you guys want to see how I applied it, then keep on watching. y'all so i have the unit on this hair is so pretty look at the curls so pretty the unit is very very comfortable so now we're going to go ahead and glue the unit down i'm going to use some of this spray right here this is the even wonder lace bond i don't really use this as much but i wanted to start using this instead of the glue um especially when i have multiple units to do i think that this will be the smarter route to go so we're going to do this and i don't really have to do much style with this because the curls are so nice and juicy look how pretty so i'm just gonna wet it a little bit but everything is already kind of molded in place so you don't really have to do much to this unit at all which i love everything looks so nice and natural um, the knots were pre-bleached they didn't cut the lace which i prefer and like look at the parting so good everything looks really really nice so now it's all on me to deliver The hair is gorgeous. Like, the hair is gorgeous. Look at the hair. Beautiful. Y'all already know how I feel about my curly hair. But we want to get these little... I like to do like a natural baby hair look. So, I'm going to just pull a little bit of hair out of here. All around the front, like this, which I probably should have put the band on with the baby hairs down like this. That's what I'll do the next time. Okay, like this. So we have something that looks like this. Let me pull this wig in the middle. We have something like this. It's my part in the middle. I can't really tell until I look at the footage back. Then I'm like, oh gosh, I should have pulled a wig to the side a little bit. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a little bit of this spray. And then I'm going to just lay some on the hairs that I have up front. Like pull it down like this. 
and then I'm gonna take gonna take that eyebrow archer and just go over those hairs like that. Like this, like this, like this. Okay, and we want to take away some of the shine. Hands. Just to take away some of the craziness. All right, so here it is. The wig is not going anywhere. We love this. Really, really pretty, gorgeous curls. Look at this, so pretty. This is the back. Along with the discount code in the description box below. Yeah. I'm a I need a second. I need to think this through. Your words are weapons. Can't you see what you do, girl? No, you fine. Why you have to be so tough? Why you gotta be so tough? Got your own but can tell you need some love. Like I known you girl all my life when I'm with you. Nothing else matter, you know that. Nothing else matter, don't go back. I don't they wait on you for too long, but I want you. Them go tell you you should fall back. Deep inside, you know that I go make you go lovey dovey. Your body on me, make you go lovey dovey. A radio 10 out of 10 that's my baby oh knows how to make me go crazy yo. Oh. hey my baby is something rolling her eyes just to let me know sometimes we argue like here we go when we make up it's a movie though hey i can never get enough baby feels like i know you go all my life when i'm with you nothing else matter you know that Nothing else matter, don't go back. I don't they wait on you for too long, but I want you. Them go tell you you should fall back. Deep inside, you know that I go make you go lovey dovey. Your body on me, make you go lovey dovey. Yeah, make you. Let me show y'all this little one piece that I got from Target. I should have got a medium because I should have got a little thick one. But this is it right here. But I should have got a medium because see how it just falls down like this. So I don't know what I'm doing with this large because it was very uncomfortable. And then with me wearing this while we was out, I had to basically take off all of my clothes in order to use the bathroom. I had the hoodie on over it. And it was just a whole thing, but it is kind of cute. See, it drops down in the back like this, but it's too big. I got this probably like last month, and I'm just now wearing it. So if you guys decide to go snag this at Target, I would say go down a size from your regular size because this right here is enough. 
All right, y'all. So we are on the way to get our nails done again because Louis going on vacation. I was supposed to just get a uh, polish change, but I'm gonna have him cut my nails down just a little bit more and see if we can just reshape them because I think that we can do it. So I've already told him the to tea. So he shouldn't be giving me no hard time because I've already told him, okay? We had to go back to Ikea because we forgot the, um, we forgot the rod. So we ended up going back to Ikea. Y'all, it's so cold outside. It says 58, but it's like freezing cold. It's very windy. It's cold out here. I heard y'all loud and clear about the cocoa bread and the beef patty because when I got the cocoa bread and I was telling Ryan about it, Ryan told me before y'all did that I was supposed to try it with the beef patty inside, but I never knew that. And then a lot of you guys told me yeah, you, you should have put the cocoa bread in, or the put the beef patty inside the cocoa bread. So since I'm over here, I guess I'll try. I'll try it again because y'all know Louis going to have somebody in his chair. There's the Jamaican spot. I can take y'all in there today because I got this little Osmo so you guys will be able to see it. Get um, a beef patty and cocoa bread. I'm just waiting for my cocoa bread. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I think I want to eat it separate. All right, let me take off some of the crust. Let me say my grace. All right, y'all. Are you like Louis? Hold on. Let me take another bite. Look. So good. Mm -hmm. This is the part I need to take a picture of. I don't know it tastes alright but remember this is not the best Jamaican spot that we have so it's just okay like I wouldn't order this again like it's not I like my my beef patty without the cocoa bread. Billy? Or just a polish change? I want to cut down and we're going to try the different shape. Oh, are we doing polish change? Yeah, and a different shape. Here we go! I'm out of, yeah. Baby, you my only number one guy. Even in my down times, I can't get you out of my mind, sorry. Just to find you in my way Hey y'all, so I just finished doing this hair review. I used the Bond Spray for the very first time. I've never did that before. I always use glue to do my units, but I use the spray and it's on there, but I have to practice a little bit more because I couldn't really see my lace like I wanted to. So maybe I need to cut my lace before doing the spray. We'll work it out. I'll get it by the next unit that I have to do. But I'm sitting in my room. I'm getting ready to go to Ikea soon. 
because we ended up going to Ikea. Um, I'm sweating, y'all, because it's we had the heater on because it was freezing last night. I told Tony to turn the heater off before he left this morning, but I think he forgot. And y'all, I'm struggling with all this hell. <laughs> we went to Ikea three times. We had to go yesterday to return the curtains that I bought originally because I have this curtain robot to open my curtains up. And I love the way that those curtains look. It kind of gives off a linen look. They were really cute. Um, but when I put them on this curtain rod, the robot, it kind of struggles to push the curtains back. So it works better if you have the rings. So the first curtains that I showed y'all, which were the curtains that I had in my old place, the Merit curtains, those have the rings and it works perfectly. So we got the curtains up last night. I bought two packs. So there's two panels on each side, but it's not full enough. But the only reason why I didn't buy three packs was because I had an extra pack from the old place that I never opened. And I thought I knew where they were, but I don't. <laughs> so they're probably packed up somewhere. I have no clue where those curtains are. So I think I'm just going to go back to Ikea and purchase some more. Um, last night I didn't steam the curtains or anything like that because I wanted them to kind of relax on their own so I could see if we needed to do any adjustments when it comes to the height of the rod. Now these are the longest curtains that they sell at Ikea, the 118s. And I couldn't go all the way up to the ceiling like I like to do with the rod because the ceilings are really high. So we did kind of like the middle of the wall. I'll show y'all in a few minutes. And also I have to order another, well, I've already ordered it. I had to order another curtain robot because the way that the curtain robot looks, I thought that it just, it's like a box. And then it has like two ears that you hook on to the rod. And what I thought was because the box is in the middle, the two ears are on the side. I thought it separates like that, but you actually need one for each side. So I ordered, I ordered that first one originally from Amazon, but because I ordered it so long ago, I probably ordered that maybe like six months ago. I just never opened it. Um, so they no longer sell that particular brand on Amazon. So I went straight to the company and ordered it that way. So I'm not too sure when it'll be here, but I did order it last night. So now I just have one on one side. So what we have to do now is Tony's going to put a bar in the middle. And like I said, I'm going to show y'all all this so everything will make sense. But Tony's going to put a little... Um, it's not called a bar, but it's like a little piece in the middle. So that way, if the extra curtains are too heavy, it doesn't make the rod bend. So we're going to put a little, little thing in the middle so it, the bar can sit on that, if that makes sense to y'all. So I'm going to show you guys what, first of all, I got to go get my phone because I have it set up on my phone where I can, um, I use my phone to open it. Because for some reason the remote is not working, but we're going to reset everything once we get the other robots so they can be in sync. Is that making sense to y'all? I hope so, girl. This is the app that you have to download. I don't know if I showed y'all my nails. Let me show y'all my nails real quick before we get into all of this. Here's my nails. They're so adorable. I love them. I got him to go shorter. Um, you can't see any nails. That's what I'm going to go by. I want it to be cut down to where you can't see any nails, really, if I hold my hands like this. So, love them. They're really short. They look really good. And I think these will look really pretty when I decide to get some color on them. So, we love that. Okay, let me show you guys. Here is the app and i will link um a curtain robot for you guys to use if you guys are interested just remember that you want to have rings on your curtains because it just makes it seamless when it's trying to open versus you know the curtains that you just slide on the rod it's kind of hard it'll stutter a little bit 
So it's easier just to have the rings. It'll just flow perfect. So trust me, I, I went through it because I bought those originally and had to take them back. So, but here is the app on the phone so it has to open close and suspend so that way the suspend is basically the stop button so let me turn y'all around here's the curtain so this is two packs of curtains i didn't realize that the panels were so thin i have them open right now because i've been playing with the <laughs> i've been playing with the remote but y'all see how i couldn't take my curtains all the way up because Again, these are the 118s. They're really long. They're kissing the floor, perfect length. Um, and if I would have went any higher, it just wouldn't have worked. So, um, like I said, I'm going to go get some more packs of the Merit curtains. That's the ones that I have. And fill this up a little bit more. But right now, like I said, I just have them pushed back because I've been messing with the remote. Here's the app, and I'm gonna just push close. Ah! <laughs> How fancy is that? Okay, and I'm gonna hit suspend to stop. So that's how the panels look. Um, but like I said, they're pretty short. And I like the pleats in my curtains. Like I want it to look like this completely closed. Like this area. Y'all know how I like it. And um, so that means I need to add more. It look One looks lighter than the other one because of the way that the, the, out, the lighting is coming in. But they are the exact same color. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, today I'm gonna go ahead and steam the curtains once I get the other pair. How good? Who you know? <laughs> so the robot is behind that little piece right there. So yeah. Love that. I'm gonna just stop my other curtains then I'll go ahead and steam them and I should be good to go so I can get my vibes going. But I love it. So hmm, y'all know I always come with the vibes. Come on now, I'm the vibe queen. I did find some chalupa bread. I went to Walmart and I found a chalupa bread. It only comes with four chalupas in a pack. But that should be enough. I don't mind the four chalupas rather than like eight because we probably wouldn't eat that many. And this is for me anyway. I don't know if Tony them would want any. So what I'm going to do is look up the chalupa res recipe. And I'm going to make them myself. So I'm really excited. But we will do this together whenever I make them. So I'm so excited. the curtains right here i got y'all on my osmo but the merit curtains 118 these curtains are 60 dollars a pack so i bought two more packs so that's how much so that's 240 dollars for some curtains <laughs> girl it gets pricey to look fabulous okay so now I'm getting ready to go pick up some lunch. <coughs> um, ever since I had that sushi queue, the sushi was so good. And I've been thinking about it ever since. When we came to Ikea yesterday after we left, I was telling Tony, I was like, let's go have some lunch at sushi queue. We went up there, but they were closed. So they closed on Sundays. So y'all know today is Monday, Martin Luther King Day, but they're still open. I've already called in my order. So I got the tiger roll, which is what I think I got the last time. Um, 
it's a deep fried roll it was really good and then i always get the shrimp nigiri those are really good I, it's just really simple um shrimp and then it's over some rice i love getting that um, but i didn't get that this time i i got my son two philadelphia rolls and the clear soup is so good y'all so i got both of us some clear soup and then it was somebody that was sitting next to me that had the general chicken so i got an order of the general chicken too so that's what i'm gonna have for lunch it's getting ready to rain it's actually drizzling right now so i'm just gonna have like a little cozy afternoon eat me some sushi and probably just snuggle up on my couch i'm not gonna put the curtains up until my husband comes because we have to use a ladder and if you guys have been here for a long time y'all know me and that struggle with that ladder i'm not messing with it i'll wait for my man okay <laughs> So I'll let you guys see us put all of that up. Before I open the packs, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just slide the other set on one side and see how the ro robot works like that. So that way it'll be two on one side. And I'm going to just see if it struggles at all. And if it doesn't, then we'll go ahead and open those. So that is the plan. And with the other curtains that I had that I told y'all about, I think those were called um, Avid or something like that. I can't remember the exact name. But what I did was, because y'all know I had linen curtains in my old place up front. And I used these clips right here, which are from Walmart. I had the black ones on my other curtains at the other place. Um, so I went to Walmart and got these because, like I said, I knew what well, me and my husband figured the robot would work better with the rings but with these it just it still was kind of getting caught so i'm gonna take these back to walmart i got them in the car so i wouldn't forget them but i'm not gonna take them back today because like i said it's getting ready to rain so we're gonna go ahead and pick up the sushi and head to the house You have to try this soup because it's so good. The flavor on it is real good. Oh my gosh, my baby. Open it so they can see. Y'all, this is Tony's. This is the Philadelphia roll he loves. And then you have a soup. And this one's mine. This is the tiger roll. I think this is the one that I got because they had a few that I wanted to try that was deep fried, but so good. And then we got fried rice that goes with the general chicken that I told y'all I was going to get. This is like one of my favorites. So good. And then I think this is just a salad, yeah. Like a little ginger salad. So, we're gonna enjoy lunch and watch a movie. Hey y'all, today is Tuesday and I am up, I'm in the middle of doing a hair review. Um, I just put this unit on, it's one of those yakky units. I love the way that it looks, this looks really good for y'all. If you guys watch the hair reviews that I put in this video, then you guys know that I tried the Eben 
Wonder Lace Bond, and that's all I use. So that was my first time doing it with just the spray, so it didn't really turn out as good as I wanted it to. But this time, I, well, the lace came pre-cut, so I just trimmed it up some, but I like the way that it looks. It looks really good. I'm going to melt the lace a little bit more once I um, do my makeup, because like I said, I am in the middle of doing this review, so I just put the wig on. I haven't really did anything to it just yet, but y'all, like, that spray works so good. Like, I would have never known because I just always felt like it wouldn't stick on my head. Like, so I never, I have some, but I never just straight up just used the spray and that was it. So I am very impressed with that spray. I'm gonna go get me a big bottle. And I think when I'm doing my hair reviews, I'm just gonna use the spray. So that way I could just pull the unit right off and go on about my day. So right now, like I said, I'm getting ready to do, finish up my makeup. And we're going to the sushi spot again today because Kalila's here. So I'm trying to see, it's wet outside today. So I'm gonna just wear some powder today. But um, Kalila's here and we're going to go to the sushi spot. So we're going to actually sit in there and have sushi. They open at um, 11. So we're going to go in there today. Um, the sushi was so good. So that tiger roll that I got yesterday, that was the exact one that I had when I went in there on my solo date. It's really good. It reminds you a lot of the dynamite roll. And then... I was a little disappointed with the clear soup because when I was in the restaurant, the soup was so good. Like I wanted to ask for a second cup of soup and I never do that. It was really, really good. But yesterday the soup tastes pretty bland. So I don't know what that's about. I don't know if it's just, you know, they serve a different type of soup when you in the restaurant or maybe they put a little extra seasoning in it. I don't know. But I'll be able to tell you guys for sure today because, like I said, when I was in the restaurant, it tastes way better. And I was so excited for little Tony to try it because he loved the clear soup at Wasabi. So I was excited for him to try it and it didn't taste that good. It tastes very basic. <laughs> but he still ate it. But he liked his sushi, the food was good, the um, general chicken, that was good, the sushi was good. So today, um, because I want to get some content, I'm going to order a few different rolls this time to try. So I'll take you guys with us. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just let you guys watch me, but I'm getting ready to do this hair review. So I'm going to do my makeup really quick. And then um, I'm gonna have to turn y'all off so I can do the unit on the video. So I got everything plugged up, my flat iron, my, um, my hot comb, everything's here. I would love to see what, y'all know that hair dye that I use? I would love to see what that hair dye would do to this hair. Because I told y'all it changes the texture. So I would love to see what it does. I think I'm going to dye this unit. I might do it um, this weekend. And see what happens. And then I know you guys saw on a clip earlier that I went to the gym last night with Tony. And I just was saying, okay, well, I must try to switch it up a little bit and see how I like going to the gym at night because I hardly ever do that. Y'all know I like to go to the gym during the day, like early in the morning because I like to just get it out of the way. But yesterday, I did like, you know, that I didn't have to worry about cooling down. It was at the end of the night. Pretty much everything was done. So I can just go to the gym, come home, shower, and I'm done for the night. So I did like that. 
Um, by that time, you know, dinner and everything was ready. So I was able to get everything I needed to get done during the day. So I did like that. So we're going to try it again today and see how I feel. So I won't be working out until later on. Which I do, another reason why I like that, because that way I can work out with Tony. Because y'all know Tony works out in the evening when he gets off work. And then I can do my weights and stuff too because I feel more comfortable when I'm in the gym with him. Because he basically shows me exactly what I need to do. And so, um, yeah, I think it'll work out. So we're going to do that this week. And I made the decision on whether that's something that I'm going to start doing from here on out. Just to switch things up a little bit, you know, make things a little easier for me. And that way I can get more done during the day. Because like I said, after I go to the gym, usually I have to wait a while so I can cool down and things like that. So I really enjoyed yesterday's workout. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup. I'll let you guys watch. see this video Sunday maybe but I like it it look cute so I'm trying to decide if I want to wear it like this today or if I want to wear it like since the video is done is that rain yes the rain is here to bring in the cold weather so that's why i was saying i want to wear it in a ponytail because i knew it was supposed to rain but i was hoping that it would be a little bit later so i think i'm gonna just wear it in a middle part ponytail because i don't know how this hair will look once it get wet and we ain't gonna take no chances so I'm going to just, y'all hear the thunder? Part it down the middle. And this, I was telling y'all on the video that I just did, that this is one of the better yucky units that I've had. Um, But I do have one coming in from I See Hair. And y'all know I really like I see hair. They just like really, really impress me. And I'm excited to get that unit, the Yaki unit, to see how I like it. So I will let y'all know. I won't let y'all know on the video that oh, this unit is better than the, you know what I'm saying? Because it just it's just not professional to do. But I tell y'all on the know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah. Um, I'm gonna just wear this hair in a little ponytail today. It's going off. Like, is it in the middle? Because as soon as I look at this footage back, that's when I notice that it's not in the middle. Other than that, I have no way of knowing because it looked like it's in the middle to me. 
that's one thing I have a problem with is part of my hair is a little, I might keep it straight like this. This looks so cute and so natural. I love this. Let me see. Is it in the middle? I can't, I can't tell. Let me know. Y'all know sometimes when um, you're using your hot comb and you don't have like a hot curl or anything to flatten it, so you use the back of the hot comb. And so I was doing this on one of my videos and somebody was like, you using the hot comb wrong. You're supposed to use the teeth on the comb. I'm like, really? I don't know too many black women that don't know how to use a hot comb. <laughs> Sometimes you got to get a little creative, but some people, they just be waiting for you to make a mistake so they can try to correct you. Don't be that person because it's so annoying. <laughs> it's so annoying. Like, girl, I know how to use a hot comb. Come on now. I might wear it like this because this looks really cute and really natural. I haven't worn it like this in a while. This unit is so cute. So y'all look out for this unit on the next vlog and you guys will be able to get the discount code. The last few times that I did units, they haven't been giving me a discount code, but I think because most of the units has been um, bobs. So I think those are already pretty cheap, so they don't do it, but I'm gonna ask for a code from like now on. I'm gonna say like, I need a code for my girls. Like, we need to save some money. Y'all making enough money off us. Moving forward, I will always have a discount code for y'all. That is my promise to you guys. And I'm gonna shoot for a good discount. Like, a good one. Cause I think sometimes they might do like $30 off if you uh, if you spend over a certain amount, so I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see what I could do. I'm gonna try to start working that in my contract for y'all because I need to look out for my girls. Okay, if we don't look out for each other, we don't do it. So I promise, that's my promise to y'all. They gonna give me a code. I'm gonna get a code. This is cute. I like this. This is my natural hair. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I'm getting ready to edit the clip, the hair clip, and send it over the, to them. And then once I finish that, they will probably go to um let me cut this off. We'll probably go to the um well I gotta wait for it to start raining. Make sure this is down. Yeah, I am loving this spray. I just this is crazy. Like all this time, I've been so scared to use spray because I'm like, that stuff is not going to hold my hair down. But, girl, that stuff works, okay? Now, if I'm going somewhere and I'm going to be, like, outside and I'm going to have my unit on for a few days, then I'm going to use the glue. But just, like, something quick to throw on, I'm going to use the spray. So... Okay, let me edit this clip because I'm starting to sweat.
really good we ended up trying like four different roles we did the tiger roll um again which that's like my favorite role so i wanted them to try it we did the volcano roll which the volcano roll is one of my like favorite sushi rolls that i usually get from sushi house and the, the volcano roll there was really good at sushi q we tried the um what, what was it the yellow tail that one was pretty good and then it was something else um the hd roll or something like that child i forgot because we ordered like i said like four different rolls we ordered two of the same ones because my son really likes the volcano roll so we ordered two of those and then the other ones they never tried before but everything was really good the soup tastes better in-house so i think that they just serve you a different soup when you're getting it to go i don't understand that but that's what it was because it still tastes really good in-house so that's that but everything was good i'm really full so now i'm just ready to chill i'm getting ready to take my makeup off and then maybe in about two or three hours i'll go to the gym so we're gonna do that um i'm getting ready to play with these lashes i got this diy lash kit um that i'm doing a sponsorship with but i need to play around with it first because i've never did the little individual lashes before and they do come in different sizes I can't see at the very top, but I know the last ones is the 16 mm. And just by me watching people that get their lashes done, I know that they usually say I got a 14, 16, to, you know what I'm saying? Like they mix the numbers up. So this does look familiar to me, even though y'all know I don't get my lashes professionally done. This is the company right here. And like I said, this is a sponsorship, so I'll put this out. You guys will probably see this maybe in a vlog next week. So they did send me over the Lux Bold. So I'm excited to play around with this. And then I got a box in from Amazon. The robot, the curtain robot. So I'll 
show y'all how they look because I know that y'all are interested. Why did I drop my cup? Okay. So, what I did was I ordered a new set because I told y'all that I ordered the iRobot from the other company that I bought my other one from, but we had to sync them. So then I was like, well, let me just order this one because I also want to have some in the bedroom too. So I just ordered a new one. So this is a different brand than what I had the last time. So this is how it looks. And remember I told y'all it had the big part in the middle and then the two ears so I thought it just opens up like that but you have to have one of these on each side okay. here's the other one I was about to say <clears throat> so yes two in the box one for each side I don't know why it says rod on the back of that but yeah two of things and then it comes with the switch bot hub and this is your all-in-one smart home hub. Don't ask me. I'm going to give this stuff to my husband so he can set it up and charge it up while we are in the gym. And then that way, um, you know, by the time we leave, everything is set up. But I think this, um, does it work like an Alexa? I'm not too sure. But once we set it up, then I'll let y'all know. Because it does say voice commands on the side. So it does say like Alexa, turn on living room air condition. Um, hey Google, turn off living room air condition. So yeah, I guess that's what that is. My camera is going in and out, which is so annoying. But yeah, so we're going to put these up today. So y'all will see that on this vlog, hopefully. And you'll get to see how it looks when... They both open together. So, oh, I got one more thing to show y'all. So, uh oh. So, y'all remember when I got the Celine dupes in the other place? They had the black on the side because back then they wasn't selling the ones that had the gold on the side. I found the ones that have the gold on the side. So, this is how they look. They're so cute. I'll link these in the description box. These are the Celine dupes. I'll show y'all my other ones too. My other ones, I think they're a little bit bigger than this. But I love these glasses. They're so cute. My camera is really annoying me. Let me go get the other ones real quick. Okay, so y'all remember these. These are the first pair of the Celine dupes. But when these first came out, they only had the one that had the black. Right here, I guess they didn't want them to look too much like the real thing. So, is my camera? I think my camera got something on it. I'm sorry, y'all. But yeah, the black one. So, this is how they look. These are really cute. But then when I was on Amazon, these popped up. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they got the gold ones. Finally. So cute. You like these, Tony? You like this on me? <laughs> you being for real. You trying to be funny. Let me see if I can pull up the saloon so y'all can see how they look. They only have the um, the silver ones available. Are these men? But the only difference is it has the Celine logo on the side. These right here that's coming up are the silver ones. Let's see if y'all can see it. And it also says that they're men. I guess they don't have the gold ones available. But this is how they look. Let me see. I just saw the gold ones when I pulled it up. Hold on. They're right here. 
Yeah, I guess because it's not available when I click on the picture, it's not coming up. But they look just like this. All right, y'all, so that is it. I'm going to take this makeup off, go to the gym with my mans, and we'll be able to show y'all the curtains when we get back. All right, y'all, so y'all know me and my little sister are like BFFs, and we love doing all the little cutesy girly things. So we bought these little pajamas right here for Valentine's Day, but the fit on them are terrible so this one is mine mine is not that bad i got mine in an extra large because the review said that they run small kalila got hers in a medium uh, no kalila got hers in a large the pants are a little too big but the top fits like a small like it's really really small so we are so hurt because we want it to look cute on valentine's day so i have to return these which i hate making amazon returns but i need to go to whole foods anyway so we're going to return our little pajamas i did see some really cute ones in forever 21 so we might try forever 21 instead but they're really cute. See, I got the extra large and Kalila got the large. The top, the top is ridiculously small, like crazy. Mine, I could have kept because I was going to keep mine. I got mine first, um, but Kalila's just didn't work. So I'm going to return them. I'm so sad about it. Okay, y'all. So the curtains are done. It took a little while for us to sync everything together because it was harder than we thought it would be but we haven't set up the alexa just yet tony got tired so we did do the remote on the phone and so i'm gonna open them the grand finale starts now so this is how it looks and here we go <laughs> I'm gonna pause it so yeah I just opened it halfway because I need to get some footage on Instagram for my little reel but we love it let's close it it's a little noisy and then every time it closes I still have to fix the pleats so I have to just come over here slide everything down so it could look like I wanted it so we have to do it like this every time I wish that it would go back in place like I like it but it doesn't so y'all know that's the vibe that I like right here so yeah that's the curtain opener all right y'all so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoy hanging out with me don't forget to like share and subscribe follow me on instagram at i am sharika b and i'll see you guys in the next one